So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a little home bargains haul. It's not huge, but I will show you what I picked up anyway. So hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay today. I am, I'm all right, you know, I'm in my luteal phase, so I'm a bit hit and miss, but as things go, we're okay. Um, I nipped two home bargains today. I was going with a couple of things in mind. It's not a very big haul but I still like to share things like this one I think that I might have found something that's pretty cool do you know what I mean um so I've got some cleaning bits a couple of Halloween items and actually some Christmas items I appreciate that everybody does things differently so if you're not ready to talk about Christmas you can switch off now but if anyone else is a bit like me who's trying to just get a bit more organized then you might enjoy this so I'm going to start with the random bits first I think that just will make sense to get it all out of the way um, um, the first thing that I did was pick up these fruit snacks. I pick these up pretty much every time I go. They were 89p each. And as you know, if you go to like supermarkets and stuff, you can get lots of different fruit snacks, but the price point on them is more like £2.50 each for like five packs. And this is just a bargain for me personally, especially with three kids. I like to pop them in their lunch boxes. They're made with fruit cheese and there's no artificial colours or flavours and stuff so it's always nice to have these in the cupboard and as my kids are getting older wow is all I can say when it comes to the amount of food that we now need it, there's a very very big difference and I would say in the past year like they eat just loads more it would seem um and then other bits that i got that are kind of in fact no i'm going to save them for the halloween section because that's why i bought them so i will quickly go on to the cleaning stuff which is actually what i went in for i tried other fabric conditioner scents recently and i was so disappointed it was the mrs hinch one that smelled nice when you did this and gave it a sniff but the smell afterwards like once you'd washed your clothes and this is the new like what is it cozy i can't remember what the name is and this is by no means dissing her because i think she's a lo lovely lady it's just like my personal preference um but it smelled almost like damp on my clothes and it's really like it isn't an issue with my washing machine and stuff obviously like i clean that regularly this that and the other but it was just the scent and i just realized that i used to love all the festive scents as you'll know like when i was a bit younger like a couple of years ago i would live and die by those scents but ever since i discovered this it is it's just kind of what my family's clothes smell like and it is so nice and it's such a nice smell and the reason why I'm so fond of it is that when I was little, I remember my grandma would always use the exact same fabric softener and she still uses it now. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it is, but every time she's ever like washed my clothes, like we stayed over for a sleepover when we were kids, um, she'd wash our clothes overnight and have them ready to give back to my mum and dad the next day because she's like a gem like that. And they would always smell like my grandma's house and it's kind of i seem to have found my own scent and this is what it is um it just smells so nice and every time you put like clean laundry on like clean clothes <laughs> clean laundry um i just absolutely love it so now i feel like i don't know if i'm ever going to venture away from this unless you come across one that is really good and you'll think that i'll like it if it's a festive one or what have you like by all means let me know but that i'm a bit of a diehard fan at the moment and that was a really long way of winded way of saying that i brought some fabric softener but it is a really good one outdoorable but the fairy version and then next thing that i picked up this was on offer so i got this scent um grapefruit and mint for some reason they discounted this one don't know if it was like a spring summer scent and they're trying to clear it ahead of like this season um but it was a little bit cheaper than the others and i just always like to have one of these in like to keep my washing machine clean basically i would probably do like a clean well my washing machine machine tells me when it needs cleaning and there's something like a setting called drum clean which is just where you put it on really high temperature and it like will try and cleanse itself but i always use that setting with like a cleaning product and it will let me know probably like every couple of weeks that it thinks that it could do with a little freshen up and i just try and do that because i just think it like 
adds to the longevity of your machine and obviously your clothes smell nicer um so i got that one and then i was very very pleased to see this um carpet fresh apple and cinnamon now have we had apple and cinnamon before or is this new because i couldn't see like a new sign on it um but what i will say is that i'm really really happy about having it this Friday we're actually at home we're not seeing my grandparents like we normally would because they're out and I just have this like desire I was gonna say craving but it's not craving I don't want to eat my house I just want to on Friday night this week I want to finish work and well pick my kids up finish off my work I want the house to be nice I want to like candles I want everywhere to be cozy and I just want to give in to this cozy season that we're in that is like I'm working towards that this week because I'm just having one of those weeks where I'm knackered um because I've been so busy with work recently like I've been working over the weekends to get like brand content filmed and I'm tired and I'm really hoping fingers crossed that this weekend is a bit of a quieter one because for the last few it's been busy and I'm just really excited so we're going to be like cleaning the house and we're going to be spraying this and then I'm also going to be using this which is Astonish Winter Spice now Zaflora love it um what's the other one Fabulosa don't see that as much anymore do you I feel like Fabulosa had a moment where it was everywhere and it was like oh look it's Sephora but cheaper um but it's every time I see it now there's a lot less scent and I don't see it as regularly is Fabulosa like disappearing or is it just in the stores near me I don't know but what I will say is that Sephora if I want to buy just one of ow, one of the smaller bottles it's like £2.49 at home bargains this was 99p and it smells like Christmas um winter spice what more can I say and I just thought you know what I love popping that in my dishwasher sometimes when I do like a clean cycle on that I love it if I like drains you can disinfect it you can use it in your like mop now we're gonna go on to Halloween which I think it's a acceptable time to talk, talk about Halloween because it is nearly Halloween um, and the kids are off soon my kids finish not this Friday but next Friday and we have Halloween off which I'm really excited about because I just want to enjoy some cozy time with them but these next items I said I wasn't going to do a boo basket because I feel like big baskets full of loads of expensive things are not really a tradition that I necessarily want to encourage because this time of year is so full of like stuff and other traditions and this that and the other that I just kind of want to keep it simple and enjoy the time we spend together as a family rather than make it about like things um but I usually do when they break up for half term for the Halloween one I always do like a little like gift bag and it's more so filled with like a hot chocolate thing or like um a craft activity or some sweets or reflective of their age ranges obviously um so i have got a few little bits and i, I can show you what they are if you want to see them um again it's just personal preference if you do boo baskets great if you do boo bags like me just little things great if you don't i'm sure you've got loads of other traditions that you do that are absolutely badass and that is absolutely fine however i saw these and thought they would be quite a fun addition um so they are the coke zero oreo limited edition ones and they are black and white and that made me think of beetlejuice to be quite frank with you and i just thought i'll pop those in so if you do want to see a video on that i can probably show you from thursday because the gift bags that i ordered i accidentally ordered two not three and i'm waiting for the third one to come with my tesco shop fingers crossed it actually comes because i want things to match um but yeah i can show you that if you want but i got three of those they were 89 pence each and i thought that would be a little treat plus it's like kind of what, like one of those oh that's exciting let's try it because for some reason kids get excited about like new things don't they i i did when i was little so i got those then I picked up a skull as you do at 2 99 and he talks oh <laughs> that needs to be a thumbnail um but there's two reasonings behind this he is multi-purpose the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to wash him thoroughly and then i'm going to cover him with parma ham so he looks like he's a fleshy skull and then i'm going to try and find some eyeballs and put those in and i'm going to do a charbuterie board um because stuff like that makes me happy and i find it fun 
doing those sort of things for my family. I thought it would be fun. You will be pleased to know that we are obviously going trick-or-treating now. And what's really nice is that this year, Halloween has fallen on the week that the kids are off. So I don't have to worry about getting in early for school. Um, you know, like a late night and then you've got school the next day. That's what we had last year and it sucked. Whereas this year I don't feel so bad about them trick-or-treating and then having a late night, eating their loot and watching a scary film kind of thing. Like I feel like that's something I would love to do with them. However, um, Daisy mentioned that she would like to go as Wednesday and we were looking at costumes on Amazon and like the ch cheapest costume I could find that like had like a wig and stuff was about 25 quid. Um, prices might have changed since then but I was like Jesus Christ so I put it in my basket and I was like I don't know how I feel about spending that much money on a Halloween costume and then I walked into home bargains and I was really hoping they might have something that I could work with and lo and behold they had gothic girl which we obviously know is Wednesday and um, but what's really nice about it is that there is a wig um, so I'm hoping that we can like braid that and I might just try and find some like lace gloves but I don't think they'll be too expensive and it's considerably cheaper than £25 because this was only £9.99. I got it in age 9 to 10 because that's all I could really see um, that would fit her and hopefully I can convince her to do it again next year. That's the only thing isn't it with Halloween costumes is that A your kids grow and B they always want to do something different which is part of the fun but it does add up and um, so I always try and make sure that I like donate costumes to like local charity shops so like hopefully somebody else can benefit in the future which reminds me you're probably seeing it going around at the moment um but someone said that they shared a post on like i think it originated maybe on facebook but someone had spoken to a manager of like a charity shop and they were talking about bits and bobs and just chatting and saying how like they get so much influx of like old toys and stuff after Christmas but she always wishes like it would come in beforehand for those people who are looking for gifts and toys for um their children who may be on a budget or struggling financially um and every year I do this um and I probably will make the kids work with me over the half term holidays to go through everything in their bedrooms and work out what they want to keep um and think that they might have aged out of everything from toys books clothes I do it in the summer holidays and I also do it around then and it's a game changer and then we take all of that to charity shop and donate it and it's so worth doing and um, so I thought I would share that now because if it's on your list of things to do earmark like an afternoon in the half term holidays and like just go through a few bits because you'll donate it and not only will you make some space for Christmas yourself but you've also done something that will benefit someone else and benefit your space as well um anyway moving on we're going to talk about Christmas now um and like I said this haul isn't huge but I am trying to be really sensible and organized this year because I'm hosting again and to be honest am I a little bit stressed about that yeah I am. I don't know why, um, because I've done it before, but I think what I found the last time I hosted was that I didn't feel as present and in the moment as I probably would have wanted to. Um, I think it was just sort of like, I really wanted it to be a special Christmas and I sort of like over-focused on things like food and I wish I'd have focused more on like you know time with my kids so I really want to get organized this year um not only for the big day itself but also like for December because I I'm really aware of my kids growing up quickly at the moment things change when they get older without spoiler alerting this for any little is so um I'm really on it this year I'm trying I'm trying I'm going to do a video after this I think of the things that I bought already for Christmas prep, A, to try and spread the cost, B, to try and stay organised, and C, there isn't a C. So, I've already got a few of these, but I have bought more. Um, first thing being some roasting foil trays. I bought two of these ones. I already have a couple, I think, in a similar size to this. Um, so, I got two of those. I do not use disposable stuff any time of year, really, like this, because... I've got a washing, no, I've got a dishwasher and I've got hands and I can clean up after myself. However, on Christmas Day, with the amount of people 
that like will be in the house and the fact that I want to be present with my children this that and the other I do use these when I host um I just think a it's quite useful because if you have leftovers you can put, sort of keep things in the trays um which is really great and also it minimizes washing up and it just sort of takes a little bit of the edge off so I've got two of those and obviously we'll be doing things like roast potatoes we'll be doing um carrots parsnips like so many different things and i will need trays for them and it just makes my life a lot easier speaking of which i've also got some takeaway tins full trays with lids which we use anyway um for sometimes stuff that we will like freeze if i do like um batch cooking and stuff however i will say that i try and regularly use tupperware that i've already got but sometimes at the moment i've got a lot of batch cooking in the freezer that i've run out so i've got some more of these but these are great for christmas leftovers would really recommend and then i've got the turkey tray um and extra wide foil and again just really useful to have we will be getting a turkey crown that generally is what we do um a because it's not wasteful and then i don't get sick of turkey because while i'm traditionalist in every sentence it's not the best meat in the world is it let's be honest so i've got that um and that is making me feel so much better because i'm just like ticking off the sort of necessities of Christmas as well as the things that are lovely. Another thing that I picked up to plan ahead are these little gift card money wallet type things. There's two designs um, and there's two of each and they were like 99p, possibly even less. Uh, so I picked some of those up because sometimes that's useful for people who maybe have requested like money or a voucher it's good for my kids in that sense um i also have my cousin who's also my goddaughter and i tend to give her something where she can go off and support herself so i love having things like that in i also got these in for the younger two to do christmas cards for their classmates um sometimes we miss the mark and we don't get them early enough and we run out of time and i just thought you know what instead of because i always see things and i go oh, i'll get them another time and then i never get them so these were 99p each they are in aid of nspcc and the designs are very sweet let's see if that will focus as you can see um so i got a pack for stan and a pack for daisy bill obviously would rather die than hand those out at high school who could blame him um because it's not really cool is it to do stuff like that once you hit your preteen teenage years um and then the last two things one was tree bunting this honeycomb effect is everywhere at the moment, by the way. Um, I have a few decorations like this all already. It's very like white company-esque or H&M had loads of stuff like that last year. Um, but I bought this. I'm planning on doing a project in my kitchen and I think I'm going to bloody start it this week, you know. I want to start it this week. I may even, even like start it tomorrow. I don't know. I just need to get my head in the game because i said that i wanted to do it before the kids finish for christmas not christmas um for halloween like half term that gives me a week and a half now and i i've just i've i've really wanted to do it but i've just been so busy um so that is on my list of things to do because it would make me really happy if i actually managed to get that done and i want to put that in that area i wonder if you can guess what i'm going to do it's not like hard to guess um but i'm not going to give it away either because it's a bit of mystery there's not a lot of mystery about me to be fair i wear my heart on my sleeve but have a guess have a guess what do you think i'm going to do and what colors do you think i'm going to go for have it have a think um and the final thing that i bought were these facial sheet masks um i probably will add a disclaimer to the start of this video about watching with little ears but this is a little ear bit to either stop please because i am i don't want to be responsible for anything like that again i do tick a box on all of these videos it says these videos are not suitable for children when i upload to youtube but i'm just saying um but obviously stockings um i I'm getting I'm getting organized I'm getting organized there's a few bits I've already bought anyway and I always do like a little cutesy thing like this one of them is a penguin which I got for Daisy because my favorite animal is a penguin therefore Daisy also loves penguins because she's going through a um sort of phase at the moment where 
anything that I love she loves and it's oh she's so cute and then I got the boys uh, polar bears because I thought that they would prefer a polar bear um so I've got those and that is everything that I picked up I only spent about 35 pounds something like that um but everything I felt like it was a very spot on organized little haul like I went in I knew what I was there for and everything that I bought is useful apart from probably this but it was like I think one pound something so you can't get mad at me for that yeah that is everything um so hopefully you found that useful I'll be posting a Christmassy related video very soon about organization things that I'm going to do xyz um and you can look out for that and hopefully enjoy it and I've got a grocery haul coming as well um but yeah have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're up to and I will hopefully see you all very very soon Bye.